two years ago, a group of Australian musicians got together to form a rock band. While that's not unusual, the band itself certainly is. The members of Rudely Interrupted face barriers that most of us can't imagine. They've overcome skepticism and huge personal hurdles to fulfill their dreams. This inspirational story begins in Melbourne. My name is Rory Burnside and I am the lead singer and guitarist in Rudely Interrupted. I was born with both eyes missing, so I have artificial eyes and I also have Asperger's Syndrome. Um, my name is Ron Brooks, I am manager uh, slash Rory Burnside's backup vocalist. Really Interrupted is a, a band from Melbourne, Australia. There's five out of six members um, have a, a disability. Josh Hogan, he has some physical abnormalities. Uh, he has autistic traits. Connie Kirkpatrick is legally blind and has Down syndrome. She's our Tambo girl. Sam Beck has Down Syndrome, he's our bass player, uh, the ultimate uh, performer. Marcus Stone, who is deaf and uh, has Asperger's Syndrome, he's our keyboard player. I want the world to see just how amazing, how inspirational and how talented these bunch of guys are when they play music. Yeah, no, we'll We're going to New York. Yes, you just... <laughs> Here we go. Don't lose track of the guitar. I think we're just about to check in. This is our first international tour, so we've got three dates in New York. We've got a face full of media. Including the United Nations show. I've never been there before. I've never Josh dreams of being on television shows and soap shows. This is cool. And dreams of being a hero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, all these years when I was a little kid, I always dreamed about being a rock star musician. Marcus was working out on the grounds at a disability service where I was working at the time, so he was always asking me about, um, you know, music. So I'm going to rock New York. We're going to keep on rocking. Uh, big star, this is a New York, you know? New York. Sam's biggest dream is to fly onto stage through smoke and flame. I just keep losing, buddy. People with Asperger's don't have that empathy and the emotional connection to the world around them like most people do. But music can offer them that. My name's Cathy and I work as a carer. A lot of people treat these guys like there's something wrong with them. Just because they have an intellectual disability doesn't mean they aren't just like you and I. In fact, in many ways they can be better people than you and I. You know, on the right side of it, we can go past the UN scene. I want to go on the deck. That's the borough of Brooklyn. Right on the shore, you see the big green glass building there with the marble side pieces. Okay. Well, who even thought rudely interrupted would exist, let alone be performing at the UN? Well, Wednesday afternoon was the big one. We performed at the United Nations for International Disability Day. It's well known in Australia through its music on the radio. So basically we performed to the world. This is our signature song. It's called Don't Break My Heart. And it came about after the loss of one of my favourite teachers after a 20-year battle with cancer and then I once said to Rowan can you really die from a broken heart 
There's been many along our, our path. It's just something that we could relate to each other about. Because of the challenges I've been through in my life, I've had lots of rude interruptions. My blindness, my Asperger's syndrome, and more than anything, the loss of my teacher. It's what I see in you. I'm Jonathan Bernstein, I'm Roy's dad. Hey, look at this. One of the hallmarks of Asperger's is not being able to be seeing things from somebody else's point of view, not being able to be flexible. It says all human beings are born free and equal. All of those things are very difficult for somebody with Asperger's right. because it's not the, the language that they speak in their mind to themselves. It's, it, they have to learn these things. And it's also one of the great things about this band is that he has learned this patience. He's learning to be a team player. My advice to kids who have some form of disability is don't let it stop you. Use it as your strength. Don't use it as your weakness. One red light can lead to a whole bunch of green lights and a few orange lights thrown in. And look, the red lights are just a bit of a test. There's definitely more green and orange. Everyone in society does need to have a voice, and that's what this band does offer. It offers hope to people that need hope. It offers happiness to people that want to be happy. It offers so much.